Hello guys. In the last video of EndNote, we learned about how to create a new library, import references into it, and making the references manually. In this lesson, we'll learn about making an EndNote style of your own choice or downloading uh, a build, an already made style from the web. So first we'll learn about downloading another style which is already available on the web so we'll open the endnote and here endnote website has a lot of already available styles which you can straight away download you don't need to make your own style unless you desperately need to do that so for example we'll write down Journal of American Chemical Society end note style so you can see that here we have the first search result on endnote.com we'll open that link and here we have the Journal of American Chemical Society end note style if you scroll down you can see all the other details and there is a button download this style if we click that button it will download the style as an ENS file and if you click that file that file will open in EndNote and here you can see that um, this style is uh, imported into EndNote so now what you need to do is just to, you need to save this style file save as and then you can name this style Journal of American Chemical Society or whatever you want you can um, right checks for example and click save so now if you close this style this style is already been added to our endnote style library so if you want to select this style we'll click here go to select another style and search for the style which we just made and here it is we select it choose and now you can see that you have selected the Journal of American Chemical Society EndNote style and you can preview it here that's how the reference will appear in Microsoft Word or any other document which you have so this was um, about downloading a style which is already available on the web there is another method however you can um, add, a re add an EndNote style manually to the EndNote and edit any field as you want so for that what you need to do is um, click edit so just to tell you that um, the best thing is always to copy a style which is nearest to the style you want and then edit that style and save it as a different copy that is the best because if we create a style from scratch we will have to add every single bit and detail of it manually and that will be a very tedious task so what will we do is we'll go to edit and then output styles so we have already selected jacks what will we do is edit jacks and make a copy of it so now we have edited that the first thing and the best thing to do is save it as a copy then do the editing and I can write it as you can give it whatever name you want my end note style and save now we have saved this as a copy which uh, whose name is my end note style now we'll learn how to edit various settings into that so first thing if you look at the left hand side menu you will see different options about the style punctuation anonymous marks the first important thing is page numbers if you come to page numbers you can see different options don't change page numbers show only the first page number if you just want to show the first page number if you want to show the last page number as an abbreviation you can select this style there are a couple of other options you can select so that's for page numbers of this style and if you click on journal names we have different other options like if you want to use full journal name 
if you want to use abbreviations there are different types of abbreviations which we'll cover in in, in a different lecture and um, there are other options so I'll use full journal name in this style and then if we come to sections here you have options like you want to create the bibliography at the end of the document or at the end of each section or chapter so here you can also select those options according to your needs after that there are two main sections citations and bibliography so the citation section covers the citations in the text uh, where they appear and bibliography is for the references appearing at the end so first we'll discuss about citations what is in here so if you come to the citations here we have different templates like how the bibliography number will appear so here you can see that the bibliography number is appearing as a superscript if you don't want it to be a superscript you can change it and um, you can make it sub superscript subscript here are the options and if you want to make it up straight inside the text as the text appears you can um, make it like this so here we have different options how you want your citation to look like then if we come to the author lists we can see that um, if there are number of authors between 1 to 100 you put a comma between each author and put end between the last author so these are different options which you can modify according to your needs and then for abbreviated author list we can say that oh if there are three or more authors just list the first one and then add at all at the end if you want to make it italic you can make it italic here and if you want to list all authors just click list all author names that was for author lists as appearing in the citations and then you can come to author name and see how you want the author names to be appearing in the document for example if you want your um, if you're uh, selecting a style with author date where author's name comes in the text you can uh, select how the author names you want to appear like first name and the last name last name and the first name with comma or without comma however you like and then capitalization how you want you want to capitalize all the names or not so these are different options with the authors which you can play around and see um, according to your needs the next thing comes the numbering how do you want to number the references do you want to use ranges for example if there are you are putting reference one two three four on um, at a single place how do you want to it to appear like one two three four separately or one dash four that means um, you are grouping the citations so and if you want to use group references like the references cited together to appear as one a b c d you can select this options and then you can have further sub options okay the next thing is sort order how you want to sort your bibliography or citations um, uh, do you want to sort them by the starting author name title year don't sort all these options are controlled from here after that we'll cover the bibliography the bibliography is how the references appear at the end of the text so I'll show you in the word document these are the citations and this is bibliography which appears at the end of the document so we'll come back to bibliography and here we have a, a lot of options like if you look at the first option that is template in the template you can edit a journal article electronic book book whatever you are looking at and you have um, different options for example we'll cover the journal article so here I want the list of authors to appear then I want a comma and then a title then I want a space and journal name in italic you can select and make it non italic or italic and then the year in bold volume in italic and issue in bracket and then pages for example I don't want the issue to appear so I'll just remove the issue from here and now all sorted 
the issue number will not appear in the bibliography and you can edit all the references however you want here at this place in templates under bibliography section the next thing is layout how do you want bibliography to appear at the end the numbering for example bibliography number and then one tab you can add another tab if you want so then bibliography will appear like between the number and the reference there will be a lot of space you can control it from here so the next thing is sort order how you want to order the references in the order of appearance as they're appearing in the text by different other options like author year you can control from here after that we'll go to author lists similar how do you want to on the authors to appear in the references like you want to list all author names or just with et al with selected number of authors you can select from here and how do you want author name to appear we can click on author name and then we can see do you want it to appear first name last name last name first name however you want you can control it from here so these are all different options there are other options which are not very important but um, you can play with them and see how they work and after all the changes we'll click file and save so now we have saved our style I'll close it and we'll select it from here my end note style yes so we'll select it I can show you in word if we select my end note style now the bibliography will appear as we wanted it to appear um, look we made the citations as non superscript they are appearing non superscript and the bibliography is appearing as we wanted it to be so that was all about making new style of your own choice or importing style from a website we'll learn about different other options in the next lecture I hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it just like it and subscribe to channel to keep yourself updated about more educational videos about different um, office programs and uh, softwares which you require to work in your research and write your thesis etc so thanks for that we'll see you in next lecture bye bye